In this tutorial, we will learn about CSS margins. As you can see on the screen, we have two paragraph tags. One has a light blue background and the other one has a yellow background. We have provided different classes to both the paragraphs. One class is no margin and the other class is with margin. So we will be adding the margin property to the class with the name with margin. Let's go ahead with it and add the margin property to the with margin class and as you can see that there is an extra space added around the paragraph tag. This transparent space added is the margin. Margin can be provided in a number of ways. So one way is just directly providing the value that is 30 pixel in this case with the margin keyword. We can also provide two values. In this case, if you provide two values, the first value is the margin from the top and the bottom and the second value which is 30 pixel is the margin on the left and the right side. So we can see the difference by changing the values. If we make the value 50 pixels, we see that the distance, the margin and the top and the bottom is increased. We cannot see obviously the bottom margin because there is nothing to see the difference between. But we can obviously see the top and the left and the right margins. In margin, we can also provide four different values for all the directions that is top, right, bottom and left in the same order. So if I provide a value of 10 pixels, then 30 pixel, then again 40 pixel and 50 pixel. So the 10 pixel is from top, this 30 pixel is from the right, the 40 pixel is bottom and the 50 pixel is from the left. So when you provide four values, these four values represent top, right, bottom and left. If you want to just provide margin for one side, that is any one side, top, right, bottom or left, we can do that as well. Just by adding a hyphen and providing the direction that is margin left 20 pixel so now we just have a margin added on the left side and as you might have already guessed we can change the direction from here if we put it margin top then it's margin on the top that is added if we make it bottom we cannot see although but there's a margin added in the bottom if we make it right so there's a margin added on the right side so this is what margin is we can also provide value in percentages that is 10% so 10% of the complete screen space is provided on all the sides